talk to me about what brought you guys to the film, what attracted you to it, because it doesn't seem like the easiest film to make. It's funny you ask that, because that's part of what attracted me to it. I think yeah. all of us thought this would be a fun one. It turned out to be, so that's a short answer, but... You know, Joe only was going to cast people who were in the 110%. If anybody was wondering about where their, uh, you know, where their warm, masseuse was going where to the stay. masseuse was going to stay, <laughs> that guy wasn't going to get cast. Yeah. So it was just sort of an unwritten understanding. If you're walking in with your material prepared for your audition, you better know that that director is going to say, are you in or are you in? And he did to each of us, and yeah. we all said, you, you, let's you, go. yeah, let's go. Yeah. There is a certain appeal about, you know, there's a primal nature to this film. It's there is. It's a man stripped of everything and just sort of forced to fend for himself. Yeah. Um, talk about Joe. He, he seems to have a really strong personality on yeah. set to sort of drive this sort of thing along. Yeah. He would need to, I think. I'm not sure how it would have been with someone other than Joe. Yeah. But he does. He's the most remarkable um, combination of uh, frat boy and poet that yeah. I've ever, ever you know, served under the helm of. Yeah. It's really uh, remarkable. I've worked with only one or two directors who actually um, scream at actors. Yeah. Only two come to mind until now. Right. So there's a third, but there's a warmth. <laughs> and they uh, sort of a challenge. Uh, in, in other words, he, it, especially with me, I don't know, I know that he did some with, with others, but he came on real strong with me and, and wouldn't let me compromise in any way really? so that that's so nice to encounter as an actor because uh, you know obviously I've been doing it a number of decades <laughs> and uh, a number of dozen years yeah and, and you don't always get that it's actually a luxury when somebody bullies you around on the set and says that's unacceptable you have to do better and this is what he did and he does it in such a mean loving way yeah. <laughs> like you say this Absolutely. weird combination of qualities yeah. that uh, that you just really want to like show up for him and plus you're having a ball cuz you're in the woods in the snow totally i can't imagine he was that way with Liam though i mean <laughs> Liam scares the crap out of me. Yeah. <laughs> now, you get to know Liam, you don't find him that scary, but I must admit, I don't think Joe was yelling at Liam quite like he was <laughs> with me. Yeah. Uh, was there anything... Which you... isn't to say that I'm not as tough or intimidating no, as Liam. No, no, Let's not have, no, draw not, that conclusion. I don't think I am personally intimidated. I don't think intimidated. Well, you know, maybe I'm <laughs> overly sensitive. Um, when people talk about Liam, I just, you know... Yeah. You guys have a pivotal scene where you have to um, slide across a... Know, a gorge. Yeah. I don't slide. I don't get to slide. Nah, you oh, that's right. You just, you just get to leap across. I take the express elevator. Yeah, you do, baby. That's a good move. Uh, talk about shooting that. Um, what was what was it like, sort of, sort of being immersed in it? I, I, I try to describe it to you. They built part of that cliff out of a you know on a hill. So they they created that cliff and then covered it with snow and trees and so forth. So we we get our own ledge that we have control over, and then. Um, they built the other side of the gorge with trees, but they're strapped down. They're not growing there. So it's a set, okay. believe it or not. And then, you know, obvious, obviously in that cable that we make out of clothing and pieces of rope and so forth, there's a, there's a iron, you know, yeah. a steel cable in there. So a couple of the actors got on that, that one, which ended up, you know, if you're looking at your hill like this, you know, you're about 15, 18 feet above real ground there. And then the extended part of the sequence where Talga, the character I'm playing, is on the wire, worried and looking, you know, looking like he's going to lose it. Um, that, that was like a, almost a whole day of shooting, too, and they built another rig over a, over a green screen, too, so they can shoot down and you see the gorge below. And some of those shots are really effective that you see the actor, for real, um, over, over a background that they composited on there. So that, that's how they did that. But that, as quick as that sequence goes by, it was actually one of the more time-consuming um, sequences because it's because of the way they had to engineer it. So there's a good deal of dangling. You had to I did a lot of dangling. dangling. I really did. Some of it, when you see me actually get on that wire, it's a real wire and it's well above the ground, but I had safety, um, safety on that they etch out somehow in post-production. Later on, when we're shooting that piece, it's over a pad and it's ten feet off the ground, and uh, you know I do that fall, but it's into a, you know, a stunt pad. So. It's still uh, ten feet. It's still yeah yeah no it was good it was good it was tiring that was re really tiring um, to hang onto that um, wire for real and you realize oh 
This would this suck. would you would die. Right. Is what, is what you <laughs> realize. What would happen? Well, you're on right. takes fourteen in your yeah. mind. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, this is what he I'm means when now. he said be really, really, really <laughs> tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he means. Okay, do it again. Like, oh. Let's put film in the camera this but, time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but, you know, he got what he wanted because he exhausted the actor. Yeah. And then you see the character is, you know, at the end of his rope, literally. Yeah, that's when the gold is. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Cool. All right, well, thanks. Guys. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks.